بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علی اللہ مدد فرما الواحد القحار علی اللہ مدد فرما یا مقلب القلوب 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 This is the dua to change the hearts of our friends, family and jamaat so they can become interested in true knowledge and they can walk on the path of Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Mawla Ali says, I am the Mukallib al meaning he is the changer of the heart. So today we are calling upon Mawla Ali, who is the changer of the heart, to help us make right priorities, set our priorities in the right direction so we can come close to his light. علی اللہ مدد فرما یا مقلب القلوب 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 Then the other prayer is the prayer of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam when he was caught in the belly of the fish and he said Allah you are subhan and all the cruelty I have done to my own soul لا الہ الا انت سبحانکا Inni kuntu min azwalimeen La ilaha illa anta subhanaka Inni kuntu min azwalimeen La ilaha illa anta subhanaka Inni kuntu min azwalimeen La ilaha illa anta subhanaka Inni kuntu min azwalimeen لا الہ الا انت سبحانکا انی کنتو من الظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحانکا انی کنتو من الظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحانکا انی کنتو من الظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحانکا انی کنتو من الظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحانکا انی کنتو من الظالمین Sometimes we don't realize that our own actions keeps us in the belly of the fish which is this world. With our free will we have to have this decision made with determination to come out of the belly of the fish and it is not easy. It is very, very difficult. But a moment who makes that decision, Mala gives them courage and strength to do what is needed to do. Ali Allah madad farma, Ali Allah madad farma, Ali Allah madad farma, Ali Allah madad farma. Ali Allah madad parma, Ali Allah madad parma. This path is not for the faint-hearted, as Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah says. This path is not for the faint-hearted. It cannot be such that when you boil the water, it boils and there are bubbles. But as soon as you turn off the stove, the water will settle down. Those bubbles which were seen were temporary. If we listen to a lecture and we feel motivated and then we are not able to stay consistent, 
the meaning is such that we are bubbling temporarily and that does not last an imam clearly says that do not be like that we are very weak very poor that the pressures of this world world is so strong so powerful that it becomes very very difficult that we can choose our own self the way in the world we learn that i have to have me time that me time worldly people will take it as doing physical things physical comforting or fun things but for a moment who is a salik who wants to walk on the path for that moment me time is the time of the soul again it matters what is important for us ali allah madad farma 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 when our peygamber prophet muhammad saw jibril and jibril said ikra read and peygamber says i don't know how to read not that he could not read the physical words but this was spiritual reading ruhani reading and he was very confused perplexed and he said i don't know how to read despite of seeing jibril getting revelations you know what he prayed rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma oh my lord increase me in my knowledge because without knowledge no one can understand the spiritual journey rabbi zidni ilma 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 ya mola meherban ya mola meherban all our difficulties all our challenges are right in front of you mola we seek this path mola ya mola how do we fight this worldly things how do we fight all the deception of shaitan mola ya mola we are very weak please become our courage ya mola ya mola let us become consistent and strong to walk on this path mola we are surrounded by tests mola ya mola meherban ya mola meherban you are mushkil kusha mushkil aasan for us mola those who only know of worldly benefit and worldly progress mola they ask for all the mushkil aasan for the worldly life mola but mola we have become mustajib we have agreed we have understood that we want to learn so we pray mola that mushkil aasan for the spiritual path to mola ya mola make it easy so we can attend classes mola ya mola make it a priority a me time so i can open up books and read mola ya mola why do i become lazy mola ya mola ya mola you are mushkil kusha you are shahanshah oh mola meherban please mercy upon our souls mola let us take this breath seriously mola and walk on this path consistently mola mushkil asan ya ali madad rasan ya ali mushkil asan ya ali madad rasan ya ali mushkil asan ya ali 
Uma dedração ali, musculação ali, 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 uma dedração ali. Ya Mola Merban, Ya Mola Merban, Rahim Forma, Rahim Forma, Mushkil Kusha Merban Mola, Rahim Forma. Hasbun Allah, one name will walk in, one name will Mola, one name will the sea. Hasbun Allah, one name will walk in, one name will Mola, one name will the sea. Hasbun Allah, one name will walk in, one name will Mola, one name will Nasi. Hasbun Allah, one name will walk in, one name will Mola, one name will Nasi. Hasbun Allah, one name will walk in, one name will Mola, one name will Nasi. Hasbun Allah, one name will walk in. One name will Mola, one name will Nasir. Hasbun Allah, one name will Wakil, one name will Mola, one name will Nasir. Shukran Lillah, Walhamdulillah, Shukran Lillah, Walhamdulillah. Yali Madad to all friends. Today, Yali Madad. Today we will start our third session on learning about Jamaat Khana, recognition of Jamaat Khana. I hope that uh, you all um, have no questions from the second session. So we will continue with the third session today about Jamaat Khana Shanasi. And last time we had talked about spiritual and intellectual preparation to go to Jamaat Khana. And I hope that you are all listening to the audios on Zikr and learning about Zikr and Giriya Ozari. And that comes under the preparation of our spiritual being. Remember, we have body, we have soul and intellect. Intellect needs knowledge. At the spiritual level, we need zikr and giriya uzari, vitibadat. So I hope that you are learning from those sessions and enjoying those sessions. If anyone has any questions from those sessions or the session we are conducting on Sunday morning, please feel free to text us the questions or share those questions with us. So this is go ongoing, right? You are doing the 40 days of intention, and then we are continue to learn the true knowledge. So Ali Allah Madad Farma. Now let us start with this verse of Quran. It is in context of understanding what is Jamaat Khana. When we go to physical building of Jamaat Khana, what does it mean? What is Jamaat Khana? Khudawan Ta'ala in Quran, chapter 22, verse 32, there are two translations I have given on the slide. He talks about Jamaat Khana. And he says, that is so, and whoever honors the symbols of Allah, Sha'ariya, Sha'ira Allahi, symbols of Allah, Indeed, it is from the piety of hearts. So what we can infer from this verse, that there are symbols of Allah made physically in this physical world for us to recognize, for us to benefit from it so we can get piety of hearts. The second translation says, such is his estate and whoever holds in honor the symbols of Allah such honor should come truly from piety of heart. 
when we read the translations it is important to skip all this which is in brackets because sometimes it is their own understanding the translators though their own understanding they put in the brackets so it's good idea to skip the brackets and just read the translation of the arabic word whatever the translator has done for us and it is good idea to read different translations several translations to understand it does not matter it is shia translation or sunni translation but we need to learn to read different translations so we can get the gist of it in a proper way and inshallah with time with the studies we will continue to improve on how to read translations and how to see quranic verses very critically so jamaat khana is the symbol of allah what is jamaat khana it is a symbol of allah it is a physical building where we go and pray so there is another concept which we have to understood one is example and other is the essence the way whenever we talk about um, uh, example of uh, imam sultan muhammad shah when he gives us the example of this almond right that you eat the peel of it but you don't eat the mugs the essence this is an example Mola is actually talking about telling us to pay attention, reflect on this example to get to the essence, which is ruhani, which is this journey for a sali to walk on. By giving that allegorical example of almond, Mola is actually telling us to pay attention to our ruhani intellectual journey. So jamaat khana is misal. It is an example. It is a symbol. but the mamsool the hasil the essence is through that practice we attain the piety of our heart by prayers through prayers we attain the piety of our heart there are three types of jamaat khana personal jamaat khana local jamaat khana and universal jamaat khana when we talk of personal jamaat khana wherever we live physically wherever we live that is our local jamaat khana i live in dallas and i go to plano jamaat khana that is our local jamaat khana so everyone has their local jamaat khana hopefully near them if not yes we do need to travel in some situation we do need to travel and reach uh, jamaat khana when it is far away so the local jamaat khana we all understand where we go physically and pray then there is a universal jamaat khana now here some may think are we talking about khana e kaaba no we are not talking about khana e kaaba so what is the difference between jamaat khana and khana e kaaba in a minute we'll get to it so there are three types of jamaat khana personal jamaat khana local jamaat khana and universal jamaat khana imam sultan muhammad shah's beautiful farman of rajko 21st october 1903 why don't one of you read this farman let's see sir sir wat allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. How much is the difference between your and others' faith? You reflect that your faith is spiritual, while others' others' faiths are physical. How much is the difference between the spiritual and physical faith? If Mukhi Kamaria don't impart the children. and the spiritual words don't penetrate to their souls in childhood the physical faith will dominate in the thought of the children the man who has never eaten the best fruit like mango he will prefer the items in in eating like garlic onion potato tomato he will make no difference in it the item like my mango is not gone in one's mouth then why not he will eat onion 
and potato. Hence, the education of the Elm of Din and Ginans in particular must be given to the, to the children. Farman number 79, Rajko, 21st October, 1903. Please recite the Salwar, Allahumma, Salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. You know, just by reading this Farman, I feel that there is such a great need to translate Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah's Farman in good English. This is a poor translation, but at least if we have something to go by, Alhamdulillah. So this uh, Farman of Mola, it is very clear that there are two types of deen. One is physical deen, another is spiritual deen. And we may infer that, oh, our deen is hakiki deen, our deen is spiritual deen, batni deen. So Mola is talking about others. Others are following physical deen, jismani deen. But that's not correct. Imam says that if Mukhi Kamadiya do not give that knowledge to children in young age, at their young age, they will always follow the physical deen. Now, this was 1903. Currently, this has changed. Mukhi Kamadiya do not have access to all the children. All the children don't even end up into going to REC because now the way we are living in a dispersed pattern, right? We are living so in different parts of the world, away from Jamaat Thana, away from REC. This responsibility has really become a huge task for parents actually now. Imam's desire is that our children learn from young age and their hearts are penetrated through this knowledge. Do we realize the word penetration? It's like sitting deep, setting deep into the heart of a child, that that child is never ever leaving the spiritual journey, something which truly sets in their heart. That's Imam's desire. We are all adult here. Are we still enjoying eating garlic, onion, and potato, or we are wanting to eat mangoes? This is the difference of a momin and momin asalik. Momin is the one who follows, says dua, jamaat khana, attendance, even doing ibadat, but still there is a missing part, and Imam is allegorically explaining it here, that we are following the physical deen. If we are going to Jamaat Khana regular, we never miss Jamaat Khana, it is a physical deen. If we say dua three times, never miss it, it is a physical deen. If we pay the song, we attend Chandrat Matlas, it is a physical deen. Even if we have taken Isma Azam and doing Ibadat, it is physical deen. How can I make that kind of statement? The reason I can say that if we don't understand any of it, why are we doing it? <clears throat> what is the essence in it? What is the batin of it? Then it is all physical being. We may attend all, you know, majalis, higher majalis, majalis. But if we have not understood the meaning of our deen, the basic understanding starts base, at a basic level and then we continue to go further. If you have not understood, it is all physical deen. An imam is very clearly saying that physical deen is not our deen. Our deen is deen e batin, deen e hakikat. For us to know hakikat, we have to really work hard to learn this knowledge to be able to find what is the batin of our religion. Otherwise, we are, today's, in today's time, we are those children who Imam is talking about, whose hearts are not yet penetrated. How long we will decide to stay at the level of a child? Again, it is our own decision. So this was about Jamaat Khana, going to Jamaat Khana and following the physical deen. Attendance to Jamaat Khana limited to physical deen is not enough. We are not Jismani deen, we are Ruhani deen, we are Batni deen, we are Hakikatis. 
So when we are talking about different types of Jamaat Khana, the personal Jamaat Khana is actually heart of a Mormon. Mormon can stay in Jamaat Khana for 24 hours. And in Quran, Allah is giving us beautiful uh, teaching in Surah Baqarah verse 125. The verse says, and when we made the house of place of return for the people and security and place of security. So when Allah is saying to Prophet Muhammad, that tell them, tell who? People. That this house which has been made, it's a place to reward them, to help them to get to their salvation, to provide them security to provide them safety, to provide them means of getting piety. And then Allah says, and take from the standing place of Ibrahim, place of prayer. Standing place, Maqam Ibrahim, where Hazrat Ibrahim was standing, Allah actually said that make that, write that place, make the Jamaat Khana. And at that place, Khana -e Kaaba was built. So it is talking about the physical Jamaat Khana, the physical building, as well as personal Jamaat Khana, which is in the heart of a moment. And then Allah says, and we charge Ibrahim and Ismail by saying what? Purify my house for those who perform tawaf and those who are staying for worship and those who bow and prostrate, meaning those who do circumambulation, those who worship, do ibadat, those who do sajda. For all the practices of ibadat can be done in the local or physical house. So first house is the personal house, which is in the moment's heart. Every moment, we do know that we have thoughts, this world of thoughts. And we have heard from Ginans, Peer says, Man ne maro, guru kahe mane malo. So we have heart, we can take the example of mind, man, all these words are interchangeably used where our thoughts live. Even in our heart where we feel, feelings are responding to thoughts. So whatever term you use, lower mind or higher mind, all these are connected. In fact, in Quran, when Allah used the word qalb, meaning heart, the meaning of qalb is also intellect. So what I'm saying that it does not matter what term you use. What matters is what is in our heart, what is in our thoughts. Our thoughts are filled with only worldly life, worldly issues, worldly progress. And I'm not saying that we should not think we have to live in this world and we have to do what we need to do. Nobody is saying leave your physical life or physical worldly you know, duties. No, please do not be mistaken. But there is a difference. Consistently having these thoughts in our minds, even at the time of Ibadah, what happens when we are not watching our thoughts during 23 hours, it does affect on 24th hour. So the heart of a moment where the thoughts are living, feelings are living, that has to be purified to the extent that there is always zikr going on. There is always remembrance. It is only through remembrance the hearts are purified, meaning our thoughts are, they become better, they become elevated. And when Ruhani Tarakki happens, it actually starts with the world of imagination, which actually is being born from our thoughts. So thoughts are very, very important. And further, if you keep discussing this concept, you will hear the word personal world, alam -e shaksi This world is not there right now. It has to be created. Personal world has to be created. Right now we are struggling with thoughts, mind and man and lower eye. All these are different terms. Focus on the essence. That is, what is going on in my thoughts? Where is my mind? Am I thinking constantly of worldly things? Repetitive thoughts of the world? 
constantly being worrying about worldly life or I have zikr in my heart. I can submit all my worries to my imam and stay in remembrance. So that is personal jamaat khana of momin. Nobody can take away that jamaat khana. That jamaat khana is always with us. And those who never understood the physical deen somehow, and we were very attached to physical jamaat khana, physical building, you know, somehow Mola sent to us this teaching through COVID-19 that those who were so attached to physical jamaat khana, they were forced to create their personal jamaat khana. They were forced to pray at home within their being, thinking of Mola, get connected to knowledge, become more reflective because we were not growing. So push came in, in a very strange way to wake us all up. The Jamaat Khana is there with us all the time, 24 hours. Very few people truly realize that we have personal Jamaat Khana and attend that Jamaat Khana. And that Jamaat Khana is never closed. There is no time limit. Anytime, every time you can remember your mullah. So it is a beautiful Jamaat Khana we have to create it. We have to enter it. Then only we can truly benefit from it. Then we all know local Jamaat Khana, that we physically go to that Jamaat Khana. But in this verse, when Allah is talking about Maqam Ibrahim, the place, the spot where Ibrahim was standing, Allah says, build a house there. And history says that Khana Kaaba, the building where Khana Kaaba is, the place, Actually, the first Khan Kaaba was built by Hazrat Adam It is the same place that every prophet has built that physical house of Allah, which is Khan Kaaba. Khan Kaaba is actually physical place of prayers. It is a shariati place for prayers. It was built in times of Sharia. It is still there because there are people who follow the Sharia. There are very many times Jamaati members do ask, should I go to Umrah? Should I go for Hajj? And the simple answer to that question is, why would you go backwards? Khanai Kaaba is a Shariat, Shariati place. It's a Shariati Jamaat Khana. The Taweel of Khanai Kaaba is our Jamaat Khan, which are built with the permission, with the command of Hazri Ma. When we do have essence, why do we go back to Sharia? Why do we continue to eat garlic and onion? Again, there are different reasons, right? Some people go for curiosity. I understand that. It is okay. You're going for vacation. You're curious. Okay. Some people go because they get influenced by friends or family. Then I would say, where is your free will? And the third reason is simply lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. If a moment has knowledge, they are salikin, they will know they have the taweel of Khanai Kaaba available to them to go morning and evening. Why would you spend money and go for Umrah or Hajj or visiting Khan Kaaba. Use that money wisely. If you have extra money to just throw away, use that money wisely. There are very many ways of using money for benefit of your own self and your Jamaat and your children. Jamaat, there are so much high number of Jamaat who lives in poverty. Lack of education, lack of health. We need to use money wisely. If we are being blessed with that blessing of money, we need to use that blessing wisely. Other blessing is of our time. If we have time, use it wisely. We have the Taweel of Khana Kaaba, that Maqam Ibrahim, the place where Jamaat Khana, Khana Kaaba was built. Through the principle of Nurun Allah Nur, the Imam of the time, has built Jamaat Khana where Jamaati members, Smiley members live in 
quantity in you know in numbers jamal khana is always built and that is the house for prayers for piety for us to go to jamaat khana and purify our souls so jamaat khana is the ghar of haqiqati it is the taweel of khana e kaaba we believe in batin we are batinun we are not shariati we are not shariati this is another verse chapter 17 verse 15 Allah says whoever is guided is only guided for his soul and whoever errs only errs against it and no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another and never would we punish until we sent a messenger very powerful words very powerful words those who are on the path jo raah e raast par hain hasil kar liye hain those who are guided only guided for their souls unke bhale ke liye kaha jata hai but those who are prone to always go on the wrong path hamesha bhatakte hain unki aadat ho gayi hai bhatakne ki they will go against it against what their own soul nobody else खुदावन in that ginan peer says tya mai na baap bhain na bhai nobody is going to be with us so today if our excuses our parents or our children or our siblings or our work no excuses will come with us because what are we doing who are we going against our own self our own soul we are harming our own souls if that is our desire no one can tell anybody anything else it is our own choice so whoever is making a mistake they are making it against they themselves against their own souls nobody else and then allah says very beautifully no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another koi kisi ka bojha nahi uthane wala if i say oh let my you know children come with me and speak how loyal mother i was how serving how caring mother i was they will not be able to do that or let my boss come in how how busy they were keeping me take any example nobody is going to take anybody else's burden it is the burden i have come with me brought with me for my own soul so stop worrying about anybody else do not compromise on the worldly duties but make your heart give yourself time make a time for me time for your own soul which is not limited to physically going to jamaat khan create time for your own soul and then allah says and never would we punish until we sent a messenger nobody will be punished if they were not given the daawat e haq once if you got the daawat if you got the invitation to become mustajib to learn this knowledge to grow up do not stay children and after that if you turn your back this verse is very clear now objective is not to make us scared here but truly sometimes we have to be critical we have to really look at these things open up our eyes what are we doing what will it take for us to open up our eyes then allah takes tests diseases come death of a family member comes and then we wake up why can't we love our soul and the one duty we have come with ourselves in this world we will recognize the imam you know everything else is just a noise of this world everything else else is illusion to keep our bodies busy to do what we need to do because we got to do that 
otherwise we will go crazy because becoming a bhagat and live all the worldly life that also does not take to salvation because our minds are so powerful we have so much strength we have to use that strength to do the worldly duties riyazat and sacrifice is must for the movie and mola makes it easy by giving us the family so we can do the riyazat but then what about our soul another verse chapter 29 verse 64 and this worldly life is not but diversion and amusement and indeed the home of the hereafter that is the eternal life if only they knew duniya ki zindagi khel tamasha hai aakhirat ki zindagi haqeeqat ki zindagi hai have you heard of that verse that this uh, hadith that this uh, world is kheti uh, for akhirat for us to how do i say it kheti for akhirat our life our time it is to be used wisely our intellect to be used wisely and earn this knowledge this life of spirituality to do the ibadat of the imam with recognition all these deeds are actually the objective of our life so we can have some kamai with us when we go to akhirat otherwise all what we see is khel tamasha amusement truly it is amusement nothing else whatever worries us whatever keeps us busy it is all amusement if we if we remember that thought right if we keep this thought in our mind then that detachment comes which we all seek bondage with this physical life we seek this detachment right and we always say it is difficult yes it is difficult but if we have the knowledge and if we remind ourselves that it is all illusion it is all amusement not the haqeeqat then we will do all these duties with remembrance in our heart it will become easier remember all these knowledge is to actually live our life with happiness this knowledge does not say that we have to be sad and sorrowful and not enjoying the life no actually in this path of knowledge we enjoy and we li- live life more happily with much more peace but it has to be understood first when we don't understand this knowledge properly then it sounds like Allah wants us to be only sad imam wants us only to remember him and do not enjoy the life nobody is saying that it is simply lack of knowledge and in ginan's peace have talked about it you know the other ginan i recall uh, that uh, momin lives in this murtiyo lok surat i aakash se jaye momin lives in this physical world but his mind his thoughts his heart is going in the other world when we are connected to imam through remembrance with the true knowledge and understanding everything we see everywhere we see we see him we praise him we love him we find happiness people in today's time are becoming more and more Uh, sick with anxiety and depression these diseases do not touch momineen why because they have this boundary boundary of the worldly things and worldly thoughts influencing them to the extent that their peace is stolen by this world 
all this understanding and knowledge comes on the path of Sirat al Mustaqim. Our tariqa is tariqa of happiness, it's a tariqa of joy. But the definition of joy could be different. The way we understood me time for worldly people would be going and going to spa or going for a massage or uh, different things. For a moment, me time is different. At the end of the day, who has the permanent happiness, permanent satisfaction? And who has the temporary happiness? After one fun, they need another fun, then another fun. It is never ending, getting succumbed to the life of the worldly things, worldly life. In chapter 16, verse 97, Allah says, whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life. And we will surely give them their reward according to the best of what they used to do. Jo shaks nek amal kare, mard ho ya aur, lekin iman wala ho. Tam usse yakinan nihayat behter zindagi ata farmani. Unke nek amal ka behter sila bhi unhe zarur denge. It doesn't matter which body we have physically, of a man or a woman, doesn't matter. We have to do the worldly duties, fulfill the worldly duties, but with piety in our heart, our deeds have to be righteous, following the farman of the Imam. If we are doing that, if we have the Imam, which is progressive, definitely our physical life will be beautiful and we will be rewarded in that life too. Jamaat Khana, understanding the Jamaat Khana is actually realizing that all this is possible living in this physical life, living in this mortal life and attaining the life of eternity. It is possible. So we were talking about types of Jamaat Khana. Here, we do want, need to understand that physical Jamaat Khana, physical Jamaat Khana is made with the permission of Imam. Wherever Jamaat lives, Imam gives the permission to make the Jamaat Khana. Council gives the request, sends the request to Imam that Jamaat is in such big number and we have seen this places for Jamaat Khana, Imam reviews it, and with Imam's hukum, Jamaat Khana is built. If you look at our constitution, it does talk about uh, principal Jamaat Khana. Imam gives permission which Jamaat Khana will be principal Jamaat Khana, headquarter Jamaat Khana, and where the other Jamaat Khana would be. It all happens with Imam's decision. When council uh, gets the place, the land, actually land is bought by Imam. Jamaat Khana lands are actually bought by Imam. Yes, Jamaati members are asked for contribution, but in reality, Imam's contribution is higher than the Jamaati members. This is just for our knowledge, so we know. So Imam has the ownership of the Jamaat Khana, Imam builds that Jamaat Khana, and in modern times, if you were to look at the modern new Jamaat Khana, the high profile Jamaat Khana, if you look at the buildings of Jamaat Khana, you will see that they are made very thoughtfully. For example, if you come to Plano Jamaat Khana, that Jamaat Khana is based on the rankings of Hudud e Deen. If you want to understand the concept of hudud e deen by seeing a building, there are so many uh, indication by numbers of pillars. The whole Jamaat Khana, the, every window of Jamaat Khana has number eight. Number eight is the number for Imam. So Jamaat Khana, physical Jamaat Khana actually also makes us become seeker 
have this knowledge that why Jamaat Khana is being made in certain way? Have we never thought why in new Jamaat Khanas there are so many pillars? Why do we have to have those pillars in between? We can remove that and we have straight building the way we used to have in olden times. But Jamaat is becoming educated and Imam is teaching us from different ways to seek this knowledge to understand what Imam is telling us. Those who are seekers, they pay attention and they learn. So in Plano Jamaat Khana, I can tell you that we have numbers of pillars indicating ranks of hudud e -deen. Mustajib is there too, but Imam is showing higher ranks, Mazun, Dai, Hujjat, Imam, that this is the progressive path for a Mu'min and Salik to continue to fana in. If you have visited museum, uh, our museum in Canada, you would see all the architecture and the buildings which Imam is building is full of knowledge, full of reasons for intellectuals to reflect and to understand. So when we physically go to Jamaat Khana, we have to look at the building too. That what does it mean? If we were to, I were to talk about Jamaat Khana in Karachi, like Kharadar Jamaat Khana or Garden Jamaat Khana, they all have this, you know, Gumbad. Uh, what do we call it? Call that in English? So so dome. So, you know, that is an architect of our Muslim history. And now we do know how Imam has started this uh, architectural award to uh, let world know that Muslim architecture, architect is so beautiful. It is so built with, you know, wisdom in it. So if you were to understand all these uh, indication which are given to us, everything you see, dome or the pillars, everything has a meaning in it. In fact, I recall a video seeing a long time ago when uh, Imam is visiting a place in northern areas of Pakistan and somebody is orienting, you know, like showing the place to Hazi Imam and then Hazi Imam says, yes, these two pillars are like universal soul and universal intellect. But what I'm saying that only those who have knowledge they have more eyes. A human has two eyes. But when we have knowledge, that moment of Salik continues to build eyes upon eyes upon eyes. Baby Lochin Sarvane, Vidya Lochin, unlimited actually. It's not three, four, I would say it's unlimited. Because the more you grow in this knowledge, the more you continue to understand, see things. It is as if you were sleeping till yesterday. Why do I see the same thing and understand different things? Why do I read the same things but understand different things? That comes with riyazat or ibadat, with true knowledge when we walk on the path of this haqiqat. Universal Jamaat Khana is like Kainati Jamaat Khana. All Jamaat Khana, let it be local, let it be Shariati Jamaat Khana or Kavili Jamaat Khana, all these are united in universal Jamaat Khana. So who is universal Jamaat Khana? Imam is the universal Jamaat Khana. And everything is a unity in unity in personal world of Imam. When Mormon builds their own personal world, they continue to walk towards the Imam step by step. Ilm wali ru darja ba darja chadhi. Imam did not say dua parne wali ru darja ba darja upar chadhi hai. Ibadat karne wali ru darja ba darja chadhi hai. Imam said ilm wali ru darja ba darja chadhi hai. Because it is only with ilm we'll understand what is our dua, what is our ibadat. So without ilm, there is no progress. No progress. Remember that. Ilm wali ru darja ba darja upar chadhi hai. So when a Mumin as Salik continues to walk further on this path, what happens? They get united with Imam. Asal me vasal, pana filima, and that can happen during lifetime. We do not need to wait for our physical death to be united with Imam. In our physical 
lifetime we can do so when we do that mutu kabla ant mutu we are able to go to that universal jamaat khana too it is possible for a mom in a sad so this is very briefly we can keep going in detail to talk about jamaat khana but i did this uh, review for you all very briefly so we can understand that there is a lot more needed to be done to know by continuously learning through knowledge reflecting and seeing things with physical eyes and seeking imams mercy to have that batni eyes to be able to see the realities and recognition so inshallah we continue to walk on this path so if you have any questions you can ask any comments yali mazat a massive ekti share karne mangti jaise aapne museum ka kaha na i just want to share it about toronto mein jo museum hai ke har cheez ka significance hai which is uh, very true to always uh, i just want everybody to understand that jab bhi bhi museum jaye to hamesha guided tours mein jaye kyunki usme pura 2 3 ghante log guide karte hain and they show the significance of each and every um, building you know plus jo quran sharif hai lockers mein rakhe hue hain uh, 10th century ka hai sab kuch hai but only otherwise we'll just think as what uh, hum uh, sirf uh, tafreeh ke liye ja rahe hain museum ke liye but the main understanding is through the guided tours jaise for example unhone ye bataya tha ki jo entrance ka jo building hai why it is built i mean you nahi jata hai you jata hai why so that it is uh, they said that jo bhi aata hai usko hum the architect says you know to be we will we embrace them with love and we welcome them with love that's why that thing that yani you know, every part is uh, this thing symbol yes Uh, I find this very interesting. I didn't know anything about the significance of pillars in Jamaat Khana. That is the first, very first time I heard. And even the second thing, oh, what's the other thing you said about the Jamaat Khana? Pillars and something else. Doom. Uh, doom. Yeah, the doom. Yeah. yeah. The numbers. Yeah, doom. I yeah, I say so it's kind of an Islamic structure, uh, the architecture. Yeah. But pillars, I, I I had no idea about that. Thank you very much. I found it very interesting today. Thank you. Any question? Apa beginning me apne jo Sultanu Masha ke farman ke liye bola ki this is a poor translation. तो इमाम कौन से लैंग्वेज में फरमान करते थे और बिकॉज़ आई थॉट ही वाज इंग्लिश स्पोकन ही वाज डेफिनेटली नहीं लेकिन ये फरमान है तो समझ में कि गुजराती स्पोकन है सुल्तान मुशा तो आई हर्ड समवेयर कि गुजराती ही वाज नॉट हिज लैंग्वेज ट्रांसलेशन गुजराती में हुआ हुआ करके इफ यू कैन शेड सम लाइट ऑन दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इमाम सो वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल व्हाट वी हियर एंड व्हाट वी थिंक एंड व्हाट वी आस्क राइट Imam knows all the languages. Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah's farmans, the way he delivered to India Pak, uh, Indo Pak Jamaat, it was kind of Urdu Gujarati mix, you know. Uh, but it was not proper Urdu Urdu too. So it was always written in the way it was when Imam spoke. There are some farmans in some mandli you would hear that it is in Urdu, but they are written in Gujarati. Jamaat at that time knew Gujarati only, so they were. translating imams words in gujarati so it was kind of mixed language but um, gujarati became the proper uh, because the ability of the jamaat at that time knowing that language so thoroughly the proper wordings of imams were taken into account 
each word of imam was taken into account in gujarati language now when i read gujarati and when i read english i see justice not done you know so it's not that imam's language was what it is about taking all those words which are beautifully given in gujarati and doing justice to it in translation english is not as rich language as gujarati or urdu or arabic unfortunately like for example take the example of love love is one word for everything there is a like and there is love but in urdu if you were to uh, uh, take there is a mohabbat ishq diwangi junoon there are so many gradings right there are darjat so if you were to take the language you know uh, which are rich language arabic persian urdu gujarati these are rich languages and when imam gave farman gujarati has language when it was uh, translated and given to jamaat it has taken every word imam used like for example if you were to study imam farameen imam has given definition of insan who is insan according to imam so when imam uses word insan and then he says uh, uh, generally using human uh, insan is different so if you study critically farman then you can distinguish all these subtle differences when you've studied farman and when you read farmans in english sometimes the translation is not proper i feel the need that somebody english is spoken who knows gujarati too inshallah they will take upon this task to translate imams farman in good english probably they will have to use more words in brackets to be able to let jamaat know what words imam use because imam words carries weight so it's not about imams you know knowing language but good catch good question uh, no i yell mad at that no i want to listen to that sister she was talking about jamaat khana when you go in there and uh, she uh, used that uh, and want to hear her uh, she yeah, couldn't her. finish okay rabia go ahead ha maqsad hai ke significant the significance bahut hota hai और इसीलिए जब भी भी म्यूजियम म्यूजियम जाए तो गाइडेड टूर में जाए अब म्यूजियम का जो वो डोम है ना पूरा उसमें भी सिग्निफिकेंस है क्योंकि कुछ शीशे ट्रांसपेरेंट नजर आते हैं और कुछ शीशे ट्रांसपेरेंट नहीं झाके झाके ऐसे जैसे स्मोकी स्मोकी टाइप है उसका भी मतलब होता है कि भाई Uh, किसी को uh, दीदार जल्दी नसीब होता है किसी को बहुत मेहनत से नसीब होता है इट्स समथिंग लाइक दिस बट द गाइडेड टूर विल टेल यू एवरीथिंग और फिर नीचे लॉबी में मकसद है कि ऐसे फूल जैसे पांच फूल जैसे है पत्तियां इट सिग्निफाइज पंचतन पार्क हाँ तो ये सब चीजें इट्स सो इंटरेस्टिंग इट टुक अबाउट थ्री टू फोर आवर्स और मेरे दोनों दोनों गोडे खराब है बट दे हाँ लेकिन क्या है कि फ्री मैं वहां जाके पता किया ना तो फ्री आपको व्हील चेयर वन ऑन वन मिलता है सो आई टुक दैट सो हाँ तो मतलब ये है कि ईच एंड एवरीथिंग और उसमें एक रूम ऐसा है जिसमें पीर सद अरे सॉरी सद सद प्रिंस सदरुद्दीन का ही वाज वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग सोवेनियर्स व्हेन ही ट्रैवल इस्लामिक सोवेनियर्स एंड द वे ही डेकोरेटेड इन द हाउस his wife presented that ha- the whole thing she donated to museum and hazri mom actually बिल्ट दैट होल थिंग जैसे उनके घर में था वैसे ही उन्होंने वो सैंपल बनाया है तो हाँ और ईच एंड एवरी सोवेनियर इस्लामिक सोवेनियर अराउंड वर्ल्ड वॉट इज कलेक्टेड शी डोनेटेड एंड हाजी माम ने पूरा इतना ब्यूटिफुल है कि बस यू नो दीज आर दिंग्स दैट रियली काउंट इस्लामिक थिंग वेर आवर रूट्स वर कैसे हुआ क्या हमको तो सब कुछ पक्की पक्का एक खिचड़ी मिल गई है just uh, sharing one so you know we used to have a lot of criticize about the jamaat khana don't have that 
what you call doom or you know monarch mm. but uh, we go back to the original source this is just talk physically we during the prophet muhammad time we prophet muhammad he built the first masjid it's called masjid al-qubba and it was just this few stone is yes, there is no this uh, created after so I, I've been to all those places in Mecca and Medina, but one day if the people are interested, then I can talk everyone in Shariat way in the Tariqat. But I, am, I think our start know better than that. Then we always tell this, our Jamaat Khana don't have, don't have that, uh, what do you call it, tone? Mm. Yeah. Because of such and such, because Kaaba, the, the Kaaba don't have that. Mm. The first masjid of Quba, Prophet Muhammad built, did not have that. So this built after. So during the Fatimi time, if you go Cairo and uh, the one, the last video I shared yesterday, that was in Mahdiya, where Maulana Muhammad Mahdi, the Zuhur of Mahdi, so it was very important, but lots of people didn't pay attention or maybe but this is very significant, important to the whole Muslim who, who was waiting for Mahdi at Nashiri, Sunni, Ismaili. So this is very important. If people miss that one and there is no other Mahdi will come. At least every time has Mahdi. Every Rumi have his own Shams. We have our own Shams. Today Shams is Zuhur of Shakari. So if you miss that, you don't know nothing about Islam, Islam or Christian or Yahudi. They're all same thing. And uh, so that uh, nowadays we have new building the sisters they shared in this building also have significant. And the most uh, the one we have in North, it's the built for that uh, the every eight the when the Udud is on the top and the five. If you see that Azirman went to Badakhshan, he he went to the Tajik house. It's a Ismaili house with the five pillars. Mm, yes. So those those are Ismaili and Fatimi uh, special constructed and, and meaningful. But lots of them nowadays they built a different kind. There's they they were after. So just want to share a little bit uh, on that one. So. Erudim, very important sharing. Remember, for friends, those who were followers of Pir Nasri Khusur tradition, they live with Shia and Sunni. Of course, the new Quran. The challenges they have faced are very many. So what you hear from uh, Kerudin, he's talking about Shariat and Tariqat. We were blessed in Indo-Pak Jamaat that we were very protected from all those things. The way we lived, it was very different. So we did not face as per se criticism and you know, know all the challenges which this Jamaat has faced. We did have, but not the magnitude is much, much, much lesser. But whenever you talk to any Jamaati member from Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Northern areas of Pakistan, they have dealt with these things. Like we do know how in Afghanistan, Taliban, Taliban came in very orthodox and very shariati, still they are facing. Being Jamaat from different places, the challenges are different. Now, what he just shared, it's a logical argument which other people criticize about Ismaili Jamaat Khana, the building of the Jamaat Khana, not having dome. And what he gave us, the very logical answer, now we all know that the first masjid did not have dome. For that, I would probably go and read if I have that question. But what he has done, he has made this aim of his life to travel all these things and physically see and learn these things. So whenever we want to probably know about Shariat or Tariqat, we can, can ask question from Kerudin. And he has lots of knowledge about it. And about Tajik Jamaat Khana. That's the video I think it is some, somewhere it was shared some time ago, right? I think it was Tajik House, right, Kerudin? Yeah, that was Tajik House in Tajikistan, uh, Tajikistan Badakhshan. Uh -huh. Azirman went in that house, so somebody was explaining the five. But if you go to China, we have the same thing. If you go to Badakhshan in uh, Tajikistan, we have same. Afghanistan, same thing. I've been to Gilgit, 
but uh, I didn't. I don't know nobody smiling to go to their house. But I only was in the market and just in uh, Jamaat Khan and stuff during that. Uh, Jamaat Khan is open hall. Yeah. Uh, I've been to I was in Hunza, yeah. Yeah, open Jamaat Khana. Some but I didn't go to people's house because this is in everybody's house is built yeah. the same way. So when we the, in China, when we when I got married, I have to do the, my marriage in this house. So this house is called Khushi and Khafagi. When somebody passed away, they do the same thing here. And they have a, a what you call the hole there when they cook and the smoke goes out of there. Yeah. It's built for a purpose and those days it's very, it has a, a botany meaning and yes. Zati meaning. So what you made us realize, what you are saying, Kharudin, we just talked about personal Jamaat Khan. If we were to have knowledge and we built our own houses, we would build those houses based on the principles of our Tariqa, our deen, which is Islam. So in Tajikistan, in all those areas, when they were building the house, they were building the house according to the principle of Islam, Hudud, five pillars, and they were showing to Imam in Tajikistan that these are the representation of our Hudud. In indo Pak, we unfortunately, we don't even have that knowledge. We are still now catching up. In China, we do know Chinese Jamaat never were able to declare they were Smilies. So their own homes were their physical Jamaat Khana too. And that's how they have used their knowledge to build the Jamaat Khana, showing that they are smiley. They believe in the Hudud. How amazing that understanding is. Thank you, Kherudin. Beautiful sharing with Kherudin. Anyone else has any comment or question? All right, then. Thank you, friends, for joining. I wanted to say Yali Madhat. Yali Madhat, Nevin Saiba and Nemat Saiba, thank you for these classes. We are very lucky. Mola Bapa, uh, this thing gave us the chance. Mola, you have to keep the world in the world. Mola, you have to keep the world in the world. And Mola, you have to keep the world in the world. And Mola, you have to keep the world in the world. All of us. Yali Madhat. Yeah,